All right, KMR, and if you're watching this channel, you know we're about to talk some brap. That's what you're here for. The Doritos, the triangles. This particular day, we're talking three rotor, 20B, cast iron block reliability. There's a lot of ways to enhance reliability of rotary engines. And we talk about a lot of different options on this channel. Um, with my personal three rotor and 20B blocks, I'm pushing a lot of boost, a lot of abuse, a lot of horsepower. So you've probably seen previously on my channel where I'll have a completely studded 20B block. And we often do the entire studding on 13Bs. And what I'm talking about is replacing the OEM tension bolts with half inch precision machined hardened steel studs. Um, and we do a precision machining process on the block. So the fitment is precise. Um, it's got a little bit of tolerance because the block is going to expand with heat. Um, but ideally, when done correctly, this strengthens the block massively. But it's expensive, it's time consuming, and not everybody is trying to run 30, 40 pounds of boost. Um, it's excessive. So in the case that maybe you have a earlier series block, you're looking for a little bit more strength, or you know you're coming up against the horsepower, the RPM boost numbers that start to create doubt for reliability, um, we can do what we consider a half stud, uh, essentially replacing on the 20B all of the OEM full length tension bolts. This is gonna help with consistency of torque. Um, studs don't twist, you get a lot better torque value, torque consistency as you're clamping everything down. And three rotors are getting pretty long, so you have some long bolts that can potentially twist. And this creates a stressed member situation where the rotor housings and cast iron plates are now much more tightly bound together um, very similar to what we used to do when they would add dowel pins, um, but we get a lot more strength and reliability out of just going to full length studs in replacement of tension bolts. So for the person looking to increase reliability um, under booster RPM, maybe taking an OEM 20B block and uh, putting it in a hot rod versus a Cosmo where it's just OEM duty, uh, maybe you're looking to add a little bit more boost, starting to approach the, the teens or the 20, 20 PSI range, um, or especially when you've got the earlier blocks that just aren't as structurally sound on these castings, then a half stud is a great way to go, a little more financially economical, and still increases block strength substantially. You're stopping a lot of the twist and push-pull expansion that usually leads to the cracking. And even in mild detonation cases, you're stopping that rotor housing from pushing outward so far um, and against those dowel pins, which then do fatigue the cast iron. You've now braced the entire block against itself and these studs. Um, so just a really nice option. Figured I hadn't talked about the in-between variations of what we can do with studs, whether it's two rotors, three rotors, four rotors, or beyond, tying everything together with some precision machine work and some hardened steel studs is just a great way to go. Strengthens the block, that gives you more reliability, that's gonna keep things running longer, better, and stronger. I think that's a wrap. Three rotor, drop the black back plate on, it's a wrap. We're done. Ship it. I wish this one was mine. It's going to some lucky person who's going to wrap it all over the place. Can run probably twice as much boost as they were before safely. Um, and it's going to be better for RPM. So get on it. Get your braps out there. Get your braps going. And if you need anything from KMR or Mazda Tricks, let us know. And we did pass 15 thousand followers subscribers so i'm excited I, I just thought of that right now so make sure to follow make sure to check out our merch um, if you need products let me know and uh, we're just loving the rotary that's it i'm out wrap it
That's a wrap.